The Division I boys semifinal game between Central Catholic and Mansfield was a game of matchups. Central's Joel Baroa and Mansfield's Brendan Hill was all the hype going into the game. But what stole the headlines today was the guard play from both teams. Just I think that's what our, uh, what our, why our team is here and, and we've been able to sustain and play against great teams like Central is because uh, guys like Kevin and, and uh, Kyle and Bowen and guys that don't get all the press but, uh, but are definitely uh, in the mix. Yeah, you know, Mike and Kyle, they just, they're unbelievable. We, they, they, both of them, they just get it. Uh, they, we, they get their best player every week, week in, week out, and they limit them. They do a great job limiting their best player, and that's huge for our team, huge. Just steady. You know, we put a ton of pressure on the basketball, and I thought they did a great job handling our pressure. I thought, uh, you know, we'd be able to get a few more turnovers out of it and, and create some offense for ourselves, and, and it just never happened tonight. It never kind of translated into us getting some, some transition points. I mean, yeah, they had that one kid. I, I don't remember, maybe number 15, he did a good job on me. I mean, I just, when I got the ball, I mean, it was, it, whenever I got to the basket, there was always another guy helping. I mean, they, they played great team defense, something that a lot better than the teams that we've faced in the past. So, I mean, it was, it was tough in the first half to get used to it, but we made the adjustment in the second half. We just, like I said, we just ran out of gas. Central's Tyler Nelson was held scoreless in the first half. Nelson came back fighting in the second with 15 points that ignited a comeback, but ultimately fell short in the end. Um, I mean, the first half, I just didn't get anything in rhythm. Um, I had to try and I forced a few shots. I didn't get anything naturally as I usually did. And uh, luckily in the second half, uh, I started the game, uh, started the half with that three. So I got my confidence back and uh, played well from there. But it would have been nice to have a better first half. He's a special high school player. Um, he, he does it in different ways, and he does it by working his butt off to do it. I mean, we, we literally were chasing him, running around, uh, holding a little, you know, bumping a little, doing everything we humanly could to try to, uh, to, try to get him off the three-point line. And then he curls a couple of times, and he uh, shot fakes. You know, a couple of times it looked like Paul Pierce was out there playing with the shot fake and let the guy run by you and then pull up and hit nothing but the bottom of the net. But, you know, talk about a special high school kid. Um, you know, I don't want to play him next year. <laughs> with the win tonight, Mansfield punched their ticket to the state finals with a matchup against Springfield Putnam at the DCU Center on Saturday. For ESPN Boston, I'm Lynn Herman.